everyone, it's Jessica for the Milk Cruise Wellness Center. In today's Pilates video was created for BCWC members and Molson Coors employees only. All right, let's get started with some hip stretches before we do our core work. We have our hand and our leg down. We're gonna lift one leg up, back, and around. Loosening up the hip joint. It also does double whammy to strengthen the hip. Let's go two more and then we're gonna reverse. Last one and reverse back over. Two, three, four, five. Let's repeat on the other side. We go out and Two more, last one, and reverse for five. Four, three, two, one. Back down to seated position. Our toes are together, our knees are apart. We're gonna sit back into a child's pose. Hold for a second, then roll forward your legs still in child's pose position and back warming up our lower back as well with this move one more time we roll it back and we're gonna fold it when we roll forward roll forward and come down we have a spine twist on our stomachs we lift one leg up and roll over Back to center and repeat other side. This always feels really good to stretch out before we get started with our actual workout. Back to center, come up into a tabletop position, then seated, legs should be stretched forward. One more big stretch, we have a seated figure four. Cross one leg over, your opposite side knee, and I like to press down just to facilitate. You can keep it here, or you can make the stretch bigger by lifting up the other foot. And then I like to rock side to side. Repeating on the other side, we stretch our legs long, one leg over the other, press down. If you did so on the other side, now you can leave it here if you did the last stretch. Should you do it on this side too, so we rock side to side. This feels really great on the hip. And down. Legs stretch forward. We have a um, we have a spine stretch. Reach and back. Two more. Last one. Back up, arms to the side. Feet are about mat width apart. We have a soft. So we twist our spine, reach, pulse, back up high. Big stretch on the back of the legs. We're also using our low back, our mid back, and we're warming up our obliques. So you should really feel this in the side. One more each side. Back to center, arms are long. Scooch up if you need to and roll it down. Nice and slow, arms back behind, we have roll ups. Inhale, arm, shoulder blades up, exhale, roll forward and crunch. Arms back up, look towards your belly button, back down. Nice and slow and control and keep going. Inhale, 
exhale, roll all the way and reach and down. You wanna really use your core to lift up that roll up position instead of using momentum. Really squeeze and exhale. One more time we go inhale exhale reach up we're gonna make it spicy so come down halfway hold it here arms down and we have a twist straight arm twist Two movements, arm back behind, roll up, inhale, exhale, reach, come down halfway, we're just going to twist right, left, back up, roll down, five of these all together, reach for your heels, arms forward, down halfway, tap, tap, up, and roll down. Three more. Crunch, tap your heels. Halfway down. Twist, twist, and back down. Two more. Dig your heels into the mat. Just like you're digging them into some sand and you really use your core nice and strong. Back up and down, last one. It's back. Inhale, exhale, reach for your ankles. Back down, halfway. Twist, twist, back up, roll down. Whew, it's nice. Now our ankles are gonna be underneath our knees and our arms are out to the side. We're gonna start with just ab curls. We exhale, lift up, and then come down. Lift. One more and hold it, hold it here and pulse forward. Just try it like you're trying to slide your hands towards your calves. We're pulsing forward. Give me five, four, hold the last in three, two, hold it here, right here, and a hundred series. We breathe in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, two, three, four, five, hold it, knees up, crunch it in, and go, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, out, two, three, four, five. In, two, out, two, three, four, five. Last one, four, five. Out, two, three, four. Hold it, knees in, big squeeze. Double leg extension, we extend out. Wrap in. If this is too much strain on your neck, you can also keep your head down and that's okay. Otherwise, keep going with me for three, two, one. Squeeze it in, hands in a triangle under your butt and everyone can rest their hands down. Heels 
hands together, toes apart, double leg stretch. We stretch down and up. A little triangle underneath our butt is helping us imprint our back to the mat, keep it nice and flat. We don't want it curving or popping out. If it is doing that, make sure you're only doing little lifts. It is better to do it with good form and without hurting your back than it is to do the full range of motion. You'll get there. Just like in everything in life, you start small, get big. First you crawl, then you run, right? You don't run right away. Give me three more that we're gonna hold our legs in the air. Last one, hold it up and lift your butt just a little bit. Reverse crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Whew. Turn to your side. Let's do some oblique work. So we're on our side here. I'm up on my elbow. I have one leg pointed out and we're stacked. So I'm in the corner of my mat. I'm gonna lift one leg up and reach and come down. three, we have four, five, five more, five, four, three, hold the last in, two, hold the last one right here, and reach and pulse, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, roll down, and you can come down all the way to your mat now. Bottom leg will be bent, top leg is straight. We're gonna have side lane lift. So we lift up, flex down. Two, three, four, five, five more, four, three, two, one, hold it up, flex down, hover just a little bit, and tiny list. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So you should feel that in your legs as well as your sides. Onto our back. We're gonna start with the double leg extension. So double leg extension. We're gonna kick two heels to our butt. Lift up, extend the arms back. Down and go with me. This is 10. Eight. Seven. Six. Final five, four, three, final two, and last one. Lift up, hold it here, and with your pinkies up, you're just gonna pulse. Two, three, four, Five, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, good job. Arms are forward. We have prone swimmers just to start. So watch me. We're gonna lift opposite leg, opposite arm, and down. Lift and down, go with me. We go up. Eight, nine, and ten. Down now, full swimmers. Let's go. We lift up and swim it out. It's really good to strengthen the lower back when we're strengthening the core, our abdominals, and our obliques, which are the sides. We call our love handles. They all connect together. So if we have 
a really strong core and a really weak back that can cause a lot of issues and vice versa. Usually low back pain is associated with a weak core. Goes both ways. Three, two, one, and down. Good job, flip to your other side. To start, we're on our elbow. Both legs are piked in the corner of our mat and we lift up and reach for our toe and come back down. We have 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We hold the last one in four, three, two, hold the last one here and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Woo. Onto our mat. You can support your, support your head with your hand if that feels nice. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight. We have legless. Lift up, flex down. So we're still working our obliques, squeezing right up through here as we lift up, but we're also working our leg. So bonus move here. Give me three, two, one. Hold it here and pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew. Onto our backs, we're almost done. We're gonna finish it out with the shoulder bridge series. So our hands are flat to the mat, ankles under our knees, and we lift up nice and high, pressing our weight back into our shoulders. We're gonna have a little stretch of our arms, so one arm comes back at a time, and forward, and let's switch. hips up nice and high squeeze your low belly a lot too because everything's really active final five four three two one hands down lift a little higher come down halfway and up little twist opposite of what we did in the beginning of class. Big exhale, knees come back in, give it a nice squeeze, and twist to the other side. Knees back in, give it a good squeeze, and then rock and roll to a seated position. Arms back behind, big chest stretch. Relax, curve it in, seated cat and cow. So we squeeze our back, curve our tummy in. One more time, arms back, chest stretch. And release your hands to your knees. Stretch your back, your upper shoulders. Come to a seated position, roll it out, and happy Friday, everyone. Thanks for joining me today.